Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Black Series action figure review. We've got Zalbar, the latest in the gaming greats figures. Um, wasn't going to pick this one up, um, mainly because of the prices here in Australia. Look at that, 55 bucks, and that's just because it's gaming greats. Um, pay an extra $10 for that little sticker there. That's all it is. Um, but yeah, luckily I was able to get a bit of a discount, so I'm, I decided to pick it up and uh, it, it, it looks like a cool figure, I just, eh, I don't really have any ties to the character, but um, <clears throat> it is it is a cool looking figure. Um, it took me a couple of goes, like walking into a store, walking, walking into a store, anyone? Um, and taking a look in person, um, just because the photos online weren't really doing it for me. I did check out a couple of reviews um, as well. And yeah, I just decided to bite the bullet, you know, I'm, I'm a sucker, I'm absolutely hopeless, so yeah, so he's coming from Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, cool image on the side there, um, I think technically Commando, Republic Commando boss is meant to be before Zalba, I'm not sure, I can't remember, possibly not, I may be way off here, so let's open it up and have a look. So yeah, by the looks of it, we've got a, uh, a just a repaint of Chewbacca's bowcaster here. We have his sword. Let's get him out. So this figure appears to be a complete repaint of the uh, Force Awakens uh, Chewbacca, which I think was used again for, I can't remember now, <laughs> I think it was reused in the Galaxy's Edge pack, um, whereas the New Hope Chewbacca we've had and the Empire Strikes Back Chewbacca have had different head sculpts. Uh, this one is, yeah, just a complete repaint, but it's a nice lighter brown. If I just reach over and grab the Chewie I'm talking about, we can get a side-by-side -side here. So you can definitely tell that's Chewbacca, but yeah, the sculpts. Uh, pretty much exactly the same. I'm not noticing any differences there. I'm just sort of comparing them sculpt to sculpt. Probably some very, very small differences, but I don't think there's much. It could be. I could be wrong. Forgive me if I am wrong. But uh, yeah, he's got the uh, Twizzler belt there. So there's a. Uh, Red rubber, tasteless snacks that people in the US love. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. I thought they were rubbish, but um, that's kind of, kind of what it looks like to me. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like a bad figure at all. You know, good size, which is what you want. And, uh, you know, more Knights of the Old Republic stuff, which is good. So uh, let's put his little crossbow together. Bowcaster, sorry. People in the comments will get angry if I don't call it the right thing. <laughs> no, people aren't that bad. So that goes on nice and tight. It's got the gold balls, nice shiny balls at the end there. So yeah, that looks alright. And his sword. I don't know the technical name for it. A nice gold hilt, red, silver blade. I'm not going to worry about posing him with the uh, with the, with the bowcaster. That will just go in my accessories box because I don't know. Got to have something unique and go with the sword. I think. So yeah, being a lighter colour, he has had a little bit of uh, looks to be like a little bit of sort of colour shading and stuff over the figure. Um, nothing overly groundbreaking in terms of paint detail. Um, they've done it with the Ewoks and stuff in the past. They've repainted Ewoks and Wookiees and stuff to make them look completely different um, in the three and three quarter inch scale. So I don't see the problem with doing it here. It looks all right to me. This wasn't super appealing, you know. It, it, it is mainly the price point that did put me off of off of it. For the for the most part, um, originally, but yeah, I ended up paying slightly less than uh, 
slightly less than the normal black series so that's okay I will bite <laughs> I will take a bite um, yeah not a bad one um, I don't know what do you think it's an interesting one I just yeah I, I, it looks like Zing um, and EB games here in Australia might be bringing the price point down for the gaming greats back to a, a, a in similar level to um, regular black series at $45 um, and I did mention that in my last video of the bring home the bounty and I talked about those ARC troopers that are being released and I thought you know the ARC trooper that is coming out the Umbara operative coming out and being a gaming greats I was kind of hesitant again you know a bit disappointed that it was going to be $55 but it looks like they've corrected that because it's now on pre-order for $45 so let's hope that it, that's a trend that continues into the future for the gaming greats I understand the little price jump for deluxe if it is a deluxe figure of course but um yeah gaming greats you know the fact they're mostly repaints and repacks and slight ever so slight retools I'm not sure they justify the uh, the price hike but that's just my it's just my humble opinion but yeah I'm actually really liking the sort of look of the shading on this figure it looks quite good over the fur so yeah, I am glad I picked him up. Okay, <laughs> I will do some. I will do some Wikipediaing and uh, read up about this guy. I have vague memories of him from from Knights of the Old Republic, but the, it really hasn't stuck with me over the years. But again, love to hear your thoughts. Please sound out in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And that always helps the channel out. And uh, yeah, I've got a pre pretty cool figure of you coming in the next day or two. So I'm looking forward to sharing that one. It's taken a very long time to get here. I ordered that back in late November, mid, mid, mid November. So I'm very grateful it has arrived at work today. Um, and yeah, it didn't work today, so I'll pick that up tomorrow, review it tomorrow night, and that will be up on the channel very, very shortly. So stay tuned for that one. So thank you all very much for coming and checking out this one. I'm, uh, I'm not unimpressed. I'm, uh, I love my Wookiees. And uh, this one comes with a big hefty sword, so what's not to love? All right, folks, I'll see you next time. Till then, may the force be with you always.